Yesterday, President Biden stopped at Chicago's O'Hare Airport to meet with the mayor there, Lori Lightfoot, about the city's surge in violent crime. The meeting came after a violent holiday weekend where an officer and two federal agents were shot and wounded in broad daylight. And just days after, this child right here, this student, a University of Chicago student, a rising junior, died after being hit by a stray bullet on a city train. Our next guest is also a student at the University of Chicago, and she wrote an op-ed calling out the mayor's soft um, on crime policies. Her name is Audrey Unverfirth, and she joins us now. Good morning, Audrey. Good morning. Good Thank morning. you so much for You're having welcome. me. You're welcome. I know you didn't know Max Lewis. He was uh, heading to an internship at a finance firm. He was from Denver. His parents sent him off to college, and he's not going to come home. He was killed there in Chicago. How does the school, how is the school reacting, and what are your friends saying? We're all just so incredibly devastated. I mean, it's just so senseless. And as you say, I didn't know him personally, but his face is familiar to me. His name was familiar. He's someone who I know. I passed on the quad countless times, mm -hmm. and everyone in the community just says he was such a light in their lives. Like his friends have been mm -hmm. speaking out saying he was just so humble and so kind. He was the president of his fraternity. He was double majoring. He had a really bright future ahead of him. He was so involved in the community. And as you say, he was just viciously and senselessly guns down on his way home from his summer internship. He was struck in the back of the neck and he, he was 20 years old. And it's just, it's so devastating. And I, I'm so, so very sorry. It's just heartbreaking. I want to read a quote from your op-ed. You said, I've ridden the CTA countless times. When my friends and I board the train, we shouldn't fear that we'll be murdered by a stray bullet. When we sit down on the bus, we shouldn't worry that we'll be knifed to death. That's absurd. Thanks to the incompetence of Lightfoot, this lunacy has become a reality. Joe Biden was there shaking hands with her on the tarmac. Do you think the two of them will do anything about this? I fear they won't. I hope they will. But I fear that yesterday was just more empty platitudes, more promises that won't be kept. I mean, Lori Lightfoot had the nerve recently to say that crime in Chicago is on the decline. That's a blatant lie. Crime is not on the decline. Homicides and shooting rates are up. Um, and as we've seen, Chicago had its most murderous weekend of the year mm -hmm. over the 4th of July. Over 90 people were shot. And I, I fear that that was just an opportunity for a photo op yesterday with President Biden, and I, I don't have confidence in Lightfoot anymore. Well, Audrey, I know you're planning to go back for your senior year. God bless you, and stay safe. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank Thanks you. for coming on. You did an excellent job. You have a bright future. Thank you.